Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, beauty maven and celebrity makeup artist, and I'm with my beautiful model, Julie Penman, today. And we are talking about what to do if your foundation tends to sit in your wrinkles. So let's face it, ladies, if you are over 30, you have some wrinkling in your skin, but there's so many great products and things that you can actually do. So I wanna teach you a couple of things today. So we're gonna recap what we've done on our beautiful model here, Julie. We have put a little foundation on her, and here's the trick. You've got to take really good care of your skin, right? Underneath, you've got to make sure that canvas is moist, that it's exfoliated and really hydrated nicely. You want to hydrate internally and moisturize externally. So if you're doing those steps and your skin's in great condition, you can choose a foundation that's a little more lightweight. Women in this age category don't tend to have problems with acne traditionally. If you did, I would advise using concealer in that case and maybe doing a lighter weight foundation all over. So that's what we've done on the case, in the case of Julie. We've done a lightweight foundation with some powder. She has absolutely great skin and we want to bring out her beautiful features. So we, but I want to talk specifically in the eye area. So there's a couple things you can do if your makeup tends to set in those, in the wrinkles that are in your eye area. First of all, good cleansing and moisturization. We're going to actually put a gel eye cream on right now. Go ahead and look up for me. We want to bring this all the way underneath the eye. It's hydrating, has some really nice antioxidants in it. There are eye gels on the market that are firming. They have firming properties in it. I'm going to bring this back up onto this bone. So right from the occipital bone and up is the area that we want to make sure we get a nice, even coverage. And then we're going to go ahead, once you have put the eye gel, you've got your treatment product down, you want to go ahead and put your concealer down. And we're using a shade of concealer that is one shade lighter than the rest of Julie's skin. Reason being is that we want to highlight that area, and you really want a product that is lightweight, that sort of floats in that area. You don't want anything that's going to be too heavy. So concentrated color in terms of picking your concealer, but it shouldn't be too thick. And when you use a brush, I think you just get a better even application. Tools are really important when it comes to makeup. Another idea if your foundation tends to sit in your wrinkles is to invest in a really high quality powder because a powder that's hand milled and is, contains good quality ingredients is going to sit better on the skin and just look, give you that nice porcelain finish to your foundation. So canvas prep, good concealer with an eye product that treats that area and then a high quality powder, those are some ideas. I'm Lisa Nilsson and that is how I would stop makeup from sitting in wrinkles.